This Broadcasting Regulatory Commission is not an act brought to control journalists or someone else. When reporting news in this country, those who do report news must have some sort of responsibility on what they report. Some information are being circulated very responsibly. In the end, there is no one to accept responsibility. The Broadcasting Regulatory Commission Act is being brought to create a better media culture. There is no intention to control media institutions. Besides Besides the internal rules and regulations self-imposed by these media companies, we are not going to control them in any way. We are not planning to impose such laws through the Broadcasting Regulatory Commission Act. This act will be able to give more value to the self-imposed rules and regulations of media institutions so that they can be more than a mere code of conduct. However, there is no final draft of this Broadcasting Regulatory Commission Act. Discussions are still going on. Viewers are being able to collect opinions on this matter and get proposals on it. All media institutions are joining in on the preparation of this draft and they can present all facts regarding this. We are doing this with good intentions. I believe that the opposition should support this system change instead of creating false fears and instead of agitating the people. Have you read the provisions mentioned in this proposed Broadcasting Regulatory Commission Act? According to the Minister of Justice, you too are a member of this Cabinet Subcommittee on the Broadcasting Regulatory Commission Act, along with Ministers Bandhuna Gunawardhana, Kelia Rambukwella and Nimal Siripala de Silva. According to the Minister of Justice, the proposed act was prepared by this subcommittee. There are two ex officio members in the Broadcasting Regulatory Commission. One is the Secretary to the Ministry of Mass Media and the other is the Director General of Telecommunications Regulatory Commission. The remaining three members of the Commission are appointed by the President with the approval of the Constitutional Council. The Chairman of the Commission is appointed by the President. The President has the power to remove any member of the Commission after simply notifying the Constitutional Council. This begs the question, is this commission really independent? Minister Manusha Nanayakara, have you read the clauses in the Broadcasting Regulatory Commission Act regarding the committee to investigate on complaints? These sections grant the power for the commission to break into media institutions that do not act according to the whims and fancies of the commission, file cases against journalists, imprison them, fine them and cancel the license of media institutions as well. There is a provision in the proposed act that says the commission has the power to revoke the license of a media institution that does not report true and accurate information. Minister, where have the words true and accurate been interpreted? According to the statement of Minister Vijaydas Rajapaksa, you too are a member of the Cabinet subcommittee that prepared this proposed act. But as it turns out, you have not even read this proposed act. This is a very serious proposal. You too were once a journalist. Minister, read this proposal well. According to this proposal, if the act is passed, electronic media will have to report news based on what the government says is true and accurate. Is this the system change that you expect will create a pure democracy?